I'm here with Jeff Sharp, Senior Product Manager at AD Link, and we're going to talk about edge and fog computing uh, as the technologies apply to telecom. So, Jeff, talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing and where service providers may have to change the way they think or find new opportunities. Um, well, thank you for, uh, for spending some time with me. Uh, what we're actually seeing in the industry is, is really a, a divergence of technologies uh, within the telecom space. Um, the service providers are really focused on how do they deploy products faster to their customers. Um, they also don't want to be a pipe, so they want to offer really great services to their end customers. And they want to offer these services with what's called quality of experience. So the operators are really looking at technologies now that enable and improves that quality of experience for their end user. They also want to make money. They're also trying to monetize their networks and provide really value added services instead of just delivering data to that phone or to that device. So uh, what we're seeing is, is more of a, a virtualized environment for their compute power. So a lot of the applications that we see today are now moving into what we call the cloud environment and the data center environment. Sure. Um, where AD Link's key strengths and where our focus is, is not really in the cloud, but really closer to the user for edge computing. So where we're seeing a divergence of this technology is placing certain network elements in the cloud environment and distributed functions at the edge closer to the user to provide lower latency type applications. You know, video is a great example where if I can deliver that video closer to the user versus up in the cloud, I'm not gonna have that spinning wheel of death. So you're working with service providers. What do they need to know about opportunities or challenges with edge and fog? The operators are trying to do two things. One is, is they're optimizing their network to try to save money. And they're also trying to offer more and more services that they're not competing with the overtop applications. An example would be Skype, you know, using their network to be able to do voice over IP. Um, YouTube type services that are, are transmitting videos uh, from one point to another. Uh, cable companies and broadcast companies uh, sending videos of the latest Game of Thrones uh, series. They want to be able to make money on that and they can do it from various different applications. The, the message that I got from you if I were to try and condense it down is the service providers want to go beyond being a pipe and having, you know, moving other people's value to being able to offer the value themselves. This is... Exactly. Okay, so I'm a service provider. It makes sense. I understand what, what you're asking me to do and what benefits. Are there any things that I need to worry about or be cautious about? If you look at the past, you know, these, these hardware platforms, software platforms have 15, 20 year life cycles. Mm -hmm. They want to be agile. They want to look at uh, you know, companies such as AD Link, which are flexible in their open architecture. From a, a telco perspective, they're being cautious on proprietary uh, software, proprietary hardware. They want to look at hardware as, a, uh, as an open architecture. They're okay. looking at the software to be open source, open architectures. And what that does is it creates competition and it creates uh, true value to the end user because I can deliver it much quicker. Excellent. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.